people off. That, yeah. that idea of them paying more tax and them avoiding it. Why do you think that's more important or should be like one of the main conversations uh, apart from transparency mm -hmm. and, and equality and philanthropy? Well, you know, I'm a historian, right? So um, if I see someone like, say, uh, President Trump talk about we should make America great again, he wants to go back to the 50s or something like that. I'm like, yeah, well, maybe that, that's a good idea because in the 50s, we have much higher tax rates for the rich. In fact, a billionaire like Trump would pay like 90% top marginal tax rate. Right. Uh, the, es the estate tax was over 70% uh, for people like Trump. So uh, yeah, I mean, make America great again. Bring back those higher tax rates. That would be my slogan. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> There are many people who would argue against you and say to you, yeah, I mean, you, you, you say you want to raise taxes on, on the wealthy, but the wealthy are already paying their fair mm -hmm. share of taxes. People are paying almost 50% of what they earn. Isn't that fair? Mm -hmm. How do you respond to them? You know, there's this whole boring debate in this country about, you know, capitalism versus socialism. Um, from my perspective, it sounds a bit ridiculous. Like, we're talking about ideas like Medicare for all. 70% of all Americans is in favor of that. Higher taxes on the rich, 75% is in favor of that. Right. So it's utterly mainstream. And I know that sort of the standard response here is always, ooh, that sounds like communism, that sounds like Venezuela. But it's not communism, it's common sense. Right? <laughs> it's, it's what most people support.